Hello everybody, welcome. This stream is about just testing Sky Clipper 2. And uh, why do I do that? Because Sky Clipper is about to be updated and there's something cool coming out. So we're gonna test that. Also because we were talking about Clippers a couple weeks ago. So what I have here is Sky Clipper by Signum Audio and then Free Clip by Van Audio. Now, this version of Skyclipper is unreleased and it's a test version. So, you know, things are not going to be probably final. We don't care. We're just going to take a look at how what I quickly wrote, I have the need to test these on specific drums and setups. So I've built a test scenario for me. And I just want you to hear what is going on, there's basically, all these tracks are pretty much useless. We've got just this set that we could color probably blue-ish, right? Something like this. There's a drum track here, and there's two drones. So the drums sound like this. Let me take the solos off. This is the drums. This is the drone that I wrote. It uses two different primal taps and they're set a little bit differently. So it sounds it's two mono tracks from the bass station too, but you know, with different delays. So together they sound like this. Right, and that's just a test. Like these other tracks, we could even destroy. We don't really need. So it's something I brought in Geist with samples I had and the bass station. But there's a strong mid side kind of world. And I want to see what I can do with Skyclipper against, because it's become apparently a standard free clip. <laughs> I know, but that, that's what it is. So we're going to just clip the let me put these in solo exempt so we can solo either the mix one in green or mix two in orange simple as that now free clip has become a standard because there's been tests that people have done on youtube in which they compare it compare different clippers against these and they say well this is free and it sounds good and it sounds exactly the same as the other Clippers. So where's the innovation? Why should we pay for it? So the first thing we should get right off the bat is does Sky Clipper sound any different than Van Audio's Free Clip in its initial setting? So I'm going to go high quality off. Everything is completely disabled. No equalizer, no mixer. Um, type hard, soft clip type hard. It's exactly the same. And if I mute if I actually disable the two plugins and I test these, the sum of these two things that are going through funnel, because I'm flipping phase between mix one and two, what I hear is nothing. That's the beautiful part. So if things are identical, we're not gonna hear anything. We're actually, if you take a look at the orange track funnel, we won't even see the meters practically going up. Right? So the three tracks are live. They're recorded audio, but they're playing and going through identical uh, parallel mixes, mix one and mix two. The phase is flipped. We're going 60 dBs up just to make things a bit louder from the get go. On the green track, mix one, there's a sky clipper. And on the second one, there's free clip. Now, the, the, the thing that I noticed, at least in Nuendo, is that if I bypass the two plugins, the latency report is different. And this is Sky Clipper at the moment that does that. So if I bypass the two plugins while keeping them active, hear what's happening. They're actually playing one against each other, 
because the latency report is wrong. So this is important. It doesn't happen if we completely disable them as it should be. But I think the beta version of SkyClipper is not reporting the, the latency correctly for some reason. It has to be this. Now with high quality off, with all plugins in, both plugins engaged, with everything completely flat at zero, how do they sound like? Do they sound identical or different? They sound different, but they're not doing anything. So why are they different? Let's try and disable one of the two. Okay, so let's try and disable free clip. Okay, so Sky Clipper is currently not sending clean audio out. There's something that is getting clipped anyway, and I'm wondering whether this is some kind of settings. So we're better testing it, right? So we already found stuff that is kind of getting our attention. Let's try and get dry gain off. No, I'm going to try and fiddle with stuff until I get perfect silence, which is what I would need. So what is happening is that the very fast high frequency information is getting, is changing. And this could be the oversampling. Let's try two times. It's actually, they don't sound identical from the get go and they're not actually doing anything. So what I'm going to do is Probably I'm going to lower the funnel track because we're going to push things. And if we output out, we shouldn't. I would like the plugins to think they're clipping at zero. So I'm going to offset things in the funnel because we're going to get a ton of gain here. And I'm probably going to go here, minus 14. There's no oversampling in Sky. I'm just going to play with it. And then we see what we want to do with with free clip and just kind of compare and see where things are, but also better test these things. So we've got controls, equalizer and mixer. This is quite, quite nice. You've got left to right and mid side. Very interesting. You can move this thing around. I don't like that the meter is only bound to a minimum of uh, minus 12. There's no shortcut doing this. I would like for this to go down to minus 80 or something like it. So, that's the thing for sure. And um, what else? The metering, absolutely, I would like to change, but there's no way to modify these in here that I know of. So I would like to be resizable somehow. Let's try the controls. You can link the input and output so that they're you're gaining up and down respectively with pre and post, nice. You've got hard, warm, bright, 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 saturator, smooth, aggressive. Cool. Different colors. This one, the free clip has hard, quintic, cubic, hyperbolic, tan, algebraic, arc, tangent. All right. Okay. <laughs> well, they're, they're good names as well. They're both mathematical. But um, then there's a threshold in here. Instead, we only have a gain up. And then we have a oh, we have a clip ceiling. Okay, so well, this is the actual threshold. So what happens if I'm going down with the threshold on Sky Clipper? So I'm asking it to to lower the threshold, which is just not moving the post gain. This I like. So. Cool. 
Okay, let's try and get something cool going on and let's switch the modes. Colors definitely change. I kind of liked warm and for some stuff, maybe bright saturator, but you don't need to have lows. So this would be nice. Let me try and see. So they have an EQ in here, but this EQ. So what about having it at, at 50%? So what you can do here is we could equalize this, which is probably going to be the whole thing. Oh, look at this clip, high pass, low shelf, peak, high shelf, low pass. Now the font size and the aliasing, I'm not quite fond of it. It could be maybe more readable in my opinion. And when you resize this plugin, the font size is actually not resizing. I love the interface. I would just love for the fonts to be a little bit easier because I think people, some people are going to have issues with that. But Anyway, is this on the wet? Yes, okay, can we filter this down? Okay, can I change the values by clicking on this pane? No, these I would kind of like but you can do it here for sure, but uh, it's a little bit quick. So maybe with shift or alt or control, this would be nice. That's how I do beta testing. Now you can learn that. <laughs> That's an art, I don't know. Let me see what I wanna do here. So this is our clipped part. Okay, what with mix? What about mix zero? Okay, now we have this softness, okay. Nice, okay, so we can blend these two, but uh, the signal that is being equalized and then clipped is actually too weak in comparison to the original. So can, um, okay, so I, that's why they put this dry gain here, applies pre-gain to dry signal. No, okay, so if I keep it at 50%, the dry should overwhelm the wet, right? So I want to find a post gain that does not, does the post gain affect both of them? Hold on, it has not, must not be linked, okay. Yes, it is, it is affecting that. Okay, so how about I go pre-gain? Okay, okay, I see that. So now I'm getting, I'm not pumping the dry gain, that's good. I wanna keep mix at 50% and I need to go up. Now, if I'm gonna go up with the pre-gain, the threshold's gonna move, no. So that's an issue because I'm gonna get more gain in to offset my post gain up, but without using the post gain. So maybe this would be nice to have a post gain just for the dry wet or like separate, like compensate them different ways, ways. Cause now I'm gonna go six up, but I have to move the threshold up. So maybe link these two, I don't know. I'm gonna clip more, you get what I mean, right? So if I do 10, I need to do minus 4.8. Ah, 
I like that though. Now here there's a different control. I can see it here on the mixer. Now the mixer part is being turned on. And what happens is I have left right controls, which will reflect here. Nice. But I can't move them from here. I have to go to the mixer. Okay. Or I can go mid side. So this is this is just the volume or just or just percentage of dry wet. Hmm. Sounds to me like a dry wet, right? If I go fully wet. Oh, okay. There's no long. Oh, yes. The dry wet is gone because I'm using the mixer. That makes sense. Okay. So now the dry wet is replacing. The mixer is replacing the dry wet. Cool. Okay. So this is definitely the dry wet. So I don't want to clip the side now. Or now I don't want to clip the mids. Now we do a master bypass. It's here where we are. I've liked Sky Clipper when I demoed the previous version, and I, I like it here as well. I think it's got, I don't know, Signum Audio has kind of a sound that I like for things I'm writing. It just fits very modern, kind of technological kind of sound, but it's still musical. It doesn't slow things down. I kind of like that. I, I'm not sure the dry and wet are being compensated right. I hear some kind of opening of the sound stage, I'm not quite sure. I, I wouldn't say I can hear it in terms of being technically wrong, but I think it, they're not getting compensated. You know, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> so what you could do here, I mean, we've done something for the highs. You could, you could change these to low pass and just maybe have, let's go mixer 100% and hear what is going on with the bright set. I love this. So this is 100% though. Why aren't we hearing both? So let me turn the mixer off. Okay, okay, makes sense. So now let me try and go 0, 100. I'm not quite sure the bypass is working as intended, but but I like how it sounds. I have no idea whether it's introducing some delay or not, like very minor sample transient delay. This is artistic somehow, bright saturating. Look at that like this. I would still like the interface to be, the, the meters to be going down at like minus 48 or something. Cause sometimes, you know, this more mix oriented, you're very loud, but what if you're down there, you're not even gonna read the values below. It's probably either a bug. I, I'm thinking they're gonna gonna have it anyway. Let's try free clip. So well here we can't really do much. So we need to change what what Sky is doing for sure. We need to disable a lot of stuff, go a hundred percent, high quality on, zero, hard, 
threshold zero. Okay, link on. Nice. So we, we're at a hundred percent. Let's try and go oversampling post oversampling clip at zero. This is a nice addition. For example, you can post oversampling clip at ceiling. I'm gonna go no post oversampling four times, or maybe thirty two times. So I'm gonna drop the threshold down minus fourteen, and let's listen to what happens here. I worry if it's gonna increase the volume. No, okay. So this is clipping it, and we should do minus 14 here, right? I like Sky Clipper better, but would I be able to? I hear it a little bit faster and crisper, but you know, they're doing hard clipping. But if you want something maybe super mathematical at the current state, Sky Clipper feels more like it's, you know, it's giving. Uh, but I like it better. It's just, this is nicer. And um, what about. Arc tangent. So this is more going down. Okay, let's hear this. I mean, it doesn't make quite sense to do this because at arc tangent you wouldn't probably do don't do you wouldn't probably do minus 14. So let's try something else. Let's try and redesign. These are very like this. This is kind of a softer, almost console like emulation, whatever. Could it be smooth? There's no telling. So let's try and drop these up until I like the ceiling. Okay, okay, it's minus 10, right? It's got that, hmm, this is nice. Okay, let's do smooth and do minus, I'm gonna start from zero, but I know it's minus 10. Let's try this. These are like here, I can't go minus 10, it will crash it. Okay, so advice on how to listen. Mix 2 with free clip takes the whole spectrum, the lowest part of the spectrum, lower half, just puts it behind and the highs stay where they are. So if you split the frequency spectrum in two, low goes back, high stays there. Um, mix 1 doesn't quite do it. So Sky Clipper kind of keeps it there. It's moving differently, but it's not statically going back. Two different ways of doing it. In a rock mix, what Quintic is quant, quant, quint, that thing is doing could be beneficial because you're keeping the lows under control where the kick, the low parts, the bass, like the band on stage is kind of drum and bass behind, and then you get the detail up front. That's you know high frequency speaker from a live concert. It's it's nice. This would offset the mix a little bit. Uh, Sky is kind of keeping it there. It's it's not a shootout by all means. Absolutely, like if this was a person or a house, the mix, uh, free clip sounds like I'm going up and looking at the house from like sixty degrees top down, and Sky Clipper kind of sounds like. It's a different, I don't know, not framing, more like of a different uh, focal length, probably. Yeah, that's the word I'm looking for. Not aperture, focal length. It's like the, you know, what, what means that 
close things feel closer or farther away. It's a little bit more together and I can see a little bit more, but it's not, I'm not into the photo. Does that make any sense? By the way, I can't read your chat, so. <laughs> I'll, re I'll answer the questions later, don't worry about that. Let's try bite, which is interesting. Oh, okay, well, we, well done. So we do see the curve. I'm, I'm so dumb. Th right there, very small. Nice, so hard, okay, smooth. Well, smooth kind of, you know, we were there. Aggressive, oh, starts very early on. Bright saturator is just, <laughs> it's got softness though. Bright kind of starts there. Bite, okay, bite is what? Bite is, okay, warm sound looks more like arc tangent. Let's try this. More, let's keep, let's move this until I hear something I like. It's not a particular color I like, but what is this? 6.9, okay. Let's try this sky at 6.9, but I'm gonna start from zero. I still like sky better, and I gotta say that Signum Audio does something with the, there's the limiter as well. It Packs the lows somehow. I love the beauty limiter. Love it. Beauty, booty. <laughs> How do you call it? Uh, beauty limiter. It's just, it packs the lows in a way that it has a sort of a almost VCA touch, but the rest is very hi-fi and, and nice. I hear it happening here as well. It's their algo. Okay. So very easy. Very nice. I think these closes in on what? I think about that. I'll send my feedback, but I'm actually gonna send them the link to this stream. And we are going to just see where we are. I think I've said everything. There, I have a concern about the bypass and the latency report of the plugin. Uh, the mix mixer kind of worked, but you know, it's gotta be, gotta make sure that, that, that it's more of a technical concern. Uh, Free Creep sounds amazing if you want to use that. I like Skyclipper better. So thank you very much for being here. See you in the next stream. Ciao. I would like to spend two words on why this video is possible. It happens because of my patrons. I have a Patreon in which I teach songwriting, scoring for video games and writing soundtracks, being creative, exploring hardware synthesizers, analog outboard, virtual instruments, sample libraries, mixing and mastering, we talk about recording. There's a lot of cool people in there. Check my Patreon out. If you would like to support me, it really means a lot to me and it makes these videos and the future ones possible. So thank you very much.